watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have uh, actually a new face for Greater Brockton, but not a new face for cable. <laughs> Annie Rosa, who's a Service Corps member, um, and she's going to tell us about her service project at the Family Center, Community Connections of Brockton, mm -hmm. and an event that's coming up. Welcome. Yes. Hi, thank you. Thanks for coming on. Um, usually Family Connections, everybody knows Juliana Langville, who yes. runs it, and Don Juliana Fontaine, Lang Langille, yeah. and I always mess, I always mess it up. <laughs> I, I just know Juliana, that's easier to, to do it that yeah. way. Um, but you are there for this current mm -hmm. year. Yes. Um, and what's yeah. happening? Something's coming up that we want to let everybody know about. Yeah, we're having an open house on May 2nd. Um, it starts at noon and goes to 3. Mm -hmm. And we're also having a citizenship clinic on the same day. Um, that's actually happening from 10 to 3, so we have a little more time for people to come in for citizens citizenship help. We're partnering with actually the MIRA Coalition, mm -hmm. um, and that stands for Massachusetts Immigration and Refugee Advocacy Coalition. Okay. And um, if anyone wants to volunteer for it, that'd be awesome. We're always looking for volunteers. Um, our phone number is 508-857-0272. Okay. And, um, yeah, it's going to be, we'll have people trained in how to do applications. Um, we'll have people trained who can speak a variety of languages. We have staff who speak Haitian Creole, Portuguese Creole, Spanish, French. And I think Port just plain Portuguese as well. Wow. Now, the open house, one of the reasons you're doing the open house mm -hmm. is Community Connections, the Family Center, has moved. Yes, we have. Tell us where. We've moved right next to Trinity Baptist Church. We're at 1367 Main Street. Um, it's an amazing facility. Um, originally, we had to move because of our grant specified. We needed a full functioning kitchen and um, a handicapped bathroom. Mm -hmm. And really, we just we have so many new programs coming out. We just needed a lot more space. So the place is amazing. It's the people there are so welcoming and so kind, and it just. We have a fantastic new place to have our events. Well, since I know Community Connections through <laughs> Juliana, but before that it was called Brockton Neighbors United, and it was oh, it, it moved around and it's gotten bigger and better. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of services that they offer. I know you have guys have the Clemente program yes. over there, and we've covered some of the wonderful events that you do. Um, Community Connections depends on volunteers. Yes, you're, completely. You're, you're in a service corps, so you're a volunteer. Mm -hmm. um, why is it so much fun or important? Or what, what are you getting out of your experience this year? I'm getting the joy of helping people. Um, I get to see people come in who might need services, and I can direct them and to where they need to go. And at the end of the day, they can come back and say, we got these services. We were actually able to get what we needed and dodge the loopholes that sometimes come into play. And it's just, it's really nice to see someone smile after helping them. Well, that's what it's all about, service. I mean, coming from Stonehill College, Stonehill College mm -hmm. instills that in its yes. students. Very and I so. think a lot of times when the students apply to Stonehill that they already have that within them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm very familiar with Stonehill. I went there, my dad taught there, like we were talking about before the show. Mm -hmm. um, what happens at the end of your service? What 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 are you? What, where, what's your direction <laughs> you're going? Just out of curiosity, if you know. Um, originally, my plan was to go from here to grad school and then go into publishing. Um, but after doing this year, I'm realizing I really, really love nonprofits. I love just being with people and helping them. So I'm still going to grad school in New York in the fall. But after that, I'm thinking of working and using my publishing degree to go into nonprofits and work for communications, marketing, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of, plenty of a need for that to get the word out and spread the word. Yeah. Um, now, you talked about volunteers for the citizenship clinic. Mm -hmm. Does uh, Community Connections deal with a lot of volunteers or a lot of people that help them out? Yeah, yeah. We try to have as many volunteers for events like this as possible. Um, last time, I think we had like 35-something families come. Mm -hmm. Um, so we need all of the staff, all the help we can get to have all the applications filled out. Um, there's, the applications are pretty long, so we need a lot of people to help with that. And we can always use volunteers at the center, too. Now, the applications, like you said, they're very long. If you think yes. about when you go to the post office and you're filling out a passport application, is yeah. it kind of like that? It's longer than that. Longer than it's that. It's like 20 pages or something. 
Oh, wow. There's, there's lots of questions. So it's kind of like an IRS tax return. Yeah, pretty much. But, <laughs> but here's the thing. I think if they come to you and you help them, they're not going to be as afraid or put off. It's, you get a helping yeah. hand. You get somebody, it, especially exactly. if you speak another language, mm -hmm. um, kind of assuming, am I right, that you might speak another language? I speak vaguely conversational Spanish. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not confident in it, but I can do it if need be. See, that's my biggest regret in life, not taking the languages seriously. My dad was born in Cuba, mm -hmm. and so he spoke Spanish. My mom was born in Boston, so mm. nobody spoke Spanish in the house. He'd call his mother and talk in Spanish, yeah. but he didn't want me to know what was going on. How's that? <laughs> okay, so it's crazy. Now, you are also working in the service corps mm -hmm. through, it's there's, there's a, a, com a community house, am I correct? Yes, yes. And a, do, are you a resident of that community house? Yes. Um, the community house was originally um, a rectory for Christ the King Church, and the TC board, Trinity Catholic Academy board, bought it and is now sharing it, loaning it to Stonehill Service Corps, and um, eight other, seven other people and I live there. So, um, you know, it's, it's better than an episode on MTV. We've <laughs> already been over there. And Jay Miller has already visited you guys for dinner, and I know he's going back. Um, tell us about that experience a little bit. We've got just about three minutes left, mm -hmm. and then I'll, I'll give you, they'll give me the high sign, and I'll give you the high sign. Okay. What are you getting out of this experience? It's got to be phenomenal. I, it is absolutely phenomenal. I'm getting another family. Um, we all, all of us are very dedicated to doing service, and it just, if we come home and we've had a bad day or something, we can talk and say, hey, this happened, um, and this is what I learned from it, and this is how, and someone else can say, oh, this is something I did, and it's just it's very nice to have someone who knows what you've been through, mm -hmm. and they can just be a shoulder to talk to. Perfect. So I'm going to wrap. I'm going to wrap this up and okay. let everybody know again. It is the open house on mm -hmm. Saturday, May second. Yes. Twelve to three mm -hmm. is the open house at. 1367 Main Street in Brockton, which is next to Trinity Baptist Church. It also says Converge Center on it, yes, if I and remember it's right. Yes, across the street from Self Help and the Compella High Rise. There you go. Um, also, the same day, a little earlier, all the way till 3, 10 a.m. to 3, is a citizenship clinic. So people can go for assistance over there. Um, they look looking for volunteers, looking for participants. Uh, phone number over there is 508-857-0272 at Community Connections. And it was a pleasure, Annie, having you, you on the show. Thanks for yes. being here. Yeah. Okay. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.